In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Good morning. We prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We ask forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I'm not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. 
He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, how much do you owe my master? He replied, 100 measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for 50. Then to another he said, and how much do you owe? He replied, 100 measures of wheat. He said to him, here is your promissory note, write one for 80. And the master commended, him, commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. It is said that we are either moving forward or backward. We are either moving toward God or away from God. And when we are not moving at all, when we are standing still, that falls into the area of moving away from God. In both the readings today speak of uh, people that are successful, especially in relationship with God and those who fall into the other area of moving away from God. But in that beautiful responsorial psalm, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. That is the desire of God for each of us, that in our lives we continually are moving forward. And what a beautiful image. It's almost like a carrot to a rabbit to keep before us that house of God, the kingdom of heaven, eternal glory. This is our goal, and this is what we are aiming for. What a great motivation for us to continually to examine our lives and ask ourselves, you know, in this past week, have we moved closer to God or have we moved further away? And yet the goal is always to be moving closer and closer Someone once asked Thomas Merton, how does one grow in prayer? And he simply said, by praying, by taking the time. How do we do, move closer to God? First and foremost, by praying, by taking the time, by examining our lives and asking in what direction are my choices leading me? And so as we gather on this Friday, a day in which we often remember Jesus' passion, his death, his suffering, that our sins may be washed away. May we ponder our lives, ask forgiveness, and pray again for that grace to continue, move forward, that indeed we are rejoicing on our way to the house of the Lord. And so we rise as we pray. For our Holy Father, may the Lord look graciously upon his every need and continue to prosper him in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all entrusted with leadership, may the Spirit give them every good gift to fulfill their responsibilities with integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unemployed and the underemployed, may God lead them to gainful employment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God continue to help us grow in love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in faith, may they be lovingly welcomed as citizens of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the deceased Steve Fueling, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our country that God forgives our sins and preserve us from all evil. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name. May the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through Christ our Lord, in Jesus you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with throne and dominions, with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
The fields are high and summer days are few. Green fields have turned to gold. The time is here for the harvesting. Forget.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, Pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Be to God. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. Be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O 